Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with a tragic and sudden ending to what was supposed to be a celebration of hockey and community. A member of the Air Centennials Junior B hockey team died last night during a game at the North Dumfries Community Complex. Eli Palfreyman was just 19 years old. CTV's Jeff Pickle is live with us in air tonight. And Jeff, this actually happened on the second last day of a preseason tournament. Well, Tony, and what we know so far is that uh, it happened during the second intermission of last night's game. Reports say that Eli Perfeyman, a 19-year-old, collapsed in the dressing room. And we've also heard that a father of one of the opposing players' uh, team is a doctor and then quickly rushed in to help. A three-year veteran of junior hockey about to enter his fourth year. 19-year-old Eli Paul Freeman was named captain of the Air Centennials for the 2022 season. Very well-liked individual, very outgoing, uh, voted team captain, and was quite honoured to be so. Um, respected by staff and, and his teammates. The cause of death has not been released. According to a member of the Air Centennials organization, he collapsed in the dressing room. North Dumfries Township Mayor Sue Foxton was watching the game and say multiple people in the arena quickly jumped into action. Well, we all were sort of frozen in place. And then there was a call for medical assistance. And we were playing the Boston Bruins, the junior Boston Bruins. And one of the players' fathers was a doctor. Thank God he was there. Um, so he went right down to assist. The Centennials organization had a closed door meeting today for the team, family and friends. Team officials asking for privacy and respect. They have brought in grief counselors to speak with the team and arena staff. The news hitting the small community hard. It's just really tragic. It's really somber. Uh, take my kids to Sens games. Uh, I think we went to like 8 to 10 last year. The players uh, are amazing. I can't say I knew the young man personally, but I've seen him at the games. They took my son into the dressing room. For many, the Air Centennials are the lifeblood of the community. But there's a profound sorrow, and that's what the community is feeling right now. Everything in the community has shut down. Everyone is mourning and out of respect. Our flags will be at half mass. Hockey fans and community members sending their love to the Paul Freeman family. And I was really shocked and really feel for the mom and dad and the extended family because it is really truly a tragedy. We're all pretty, pretty devastated. The whole community is. This is just tragic. And tragedy really is the uh, only word people are, are saying today in respect to this. And condolences are coming in really from around the hockey world and uh, even here at the arena in air. A small uh, memorial just began. Uh, some flowers laid outside the arena. Expect uh, many more to follow in the hours and days to come. Now, the team is thanking all of those who rushed to help uh, Eli uh, in, that, uh, in those frantic moments there. And they're asking people uh, not to speculate on what happened and uh, they need a little bit of time to grieve and come to terms with what's happened here. Tony. Just such a sad story. Okay, Jeff, thanks so much. CTV's Jeff Pickle reporting live from air tonight.